So, number 1 is thrombolysis, DVT thrombolysis. What is thrombolysis means in, in difference to the anticoagulants, we will give thrombolytics at the location of the clotted veins. The anticoagulants, they prevent forming a new blood clot, whereas the thrombolytic medicine, it dissolves the clot that is already formed. So, we will uh, introduce a thin tube called a catheter under ultrasound and x-ray guidance in the vein that is affected with the help of a small needle and we will pass that thin tube into the affected portion of the vein and through that catheter, that catheter will have multiple side holes. So, through that catheter, we will inject this thrombolytic or blood dissolving medicine. So, this medicine is injected over a prolonged time over 12 hours or 24 hours and we will check what is the response. So, this uh, treatment is very effective if the patient is having acute deep vein thrombosis uh, that is less than 14 days, this is very effective. One more option that we have with interventional radiology is mechanical thrombolysis or mechanical thrombectomy. In mechanical thrombectomy, what we do is, we will introduce a catheter. This catheter is different from the previous catheter that we used for the catheter directed thrombolysis. This catheter has a metal at the tip of the catheter which will rotate or it will suck out the thrombus. So, this will mechanically break the thrombus instead of you infusing a drug, you are mechanically breaking the clot. So, here the a clot burden removal is faster and it is more effective than the catheter directed thrombolysis, particularly in a chronic DVT patients or a subacute DVT that means more than 14 days or near the 14 days, they are more beneficial for those kind of patients. Also in patients in whom we cannot give the thrombolytic drugs due to some medical conditions like uh, if you are more prone for bleeding like uh, recent history of uh, heart attack or brain stroke or any recent surgery or any recent uh, accident then these are all indic uh, these are all situations where we cannot give the thrombolytic uh, medicine so in this patient population we can use this mechanical thrombectomy procedure so with this procedure either catheter directed thrombolysis or mechanical thrombectomy we can significantly reduce the clot burden and the symptoms are, are relieved in an expedite manner and the limb can be saved